All right. That was lovely. I'm going to move right along here to the interview, and uh, I wanted to let you know, first off, that Devin is not with us right now. He's been called into a meeting, um, a meeting on a floor even deeper than the floor we're currently broadcasting from. Uh, it's quite deep already, but the wing that he's been called away to is uh, a whole other level of deep, a deepness that few can comprehend even. Um, the hallways surrounding that particular part of the complex uh, are legally required to have magma warning signs alongside them. And anyways, that's um, neither here nor there, but we've got uh, Mr. Haiku waiting outside the door. I see him there. Um, yeah, come in. You can come in. Um, yeah, all right. So coming up next on the show, we've got a very special guest who calls himself Mr. Haiku. His real name apparently is uh, Sestina Freeverse. His distinction is that he has been speaking exclusively in haiku form for the last 20 years. Wow. Um, yeah, wow, that's, in, that's incredible. Here he is, accompanied by... Oh, he's... Uh, oh, right, that's right. He's got uh, a Guinness World Record judge alongside him um, who apparently has been with them constantly for the last uh, 20 years. How are you? Hello, how are you? Your studio is so vast. Canyons in the mist. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, are you, are you comfortable? You found your way in here okay? Waiting in the lobby. Greeting a new audience. A journey begins. That's right. So, uh, do you need anything before we begin? Maybe a cocktail or something? Ice melts in the spring. With the fermented runoff. Gurgling bubbles. Uh, I'll, I'll get you a whiskey soda with ice, then? Okay, uh, so uh, according to your agent, you are going for the world record for speaking exclusively in haiku form. Uh, apparently the cur current world record holder was able to do it for 21 years, and I see here you're currently at 20 years, 11 months, so you're remarkably close. Uh, your agent said you wanted to come onto the show just to sort of publicize it before you actually get the record, is that right? Getting very close, looking forward to next month. The wolf eyes his prey. Oh, good one. Nice. Uh, so we just wanted to ask you a couple of basic questions, and you can respond to them in your trademark style, if that sounds good. So, uh, so why did you start speaking in haikus? Feeling so hopeless, the hunter aims one last time. I was kind of bored. Yes, well, we all get bored. I guess your hobby is a bit unusual. Um... Have you found that it gets in the way of uh, living a good life? Has it affected your career at all? A man in a boat. He is not always fishing. He might be jobless. Oh, okay. So you're um, not employed. Um, that's fine. It must be uh, sometimes fairly socially isolating, I would imagine, always speaking this way. On a windswept peak, I've chosen the frozen path. Desperately lonely. Well, it must be nice to have a relaxing conversation for a change. Speaking in haiku. Very few know this torture. I made the wrong choice. Too late to turn back. If I don't succeed with this, the noose is waiting. Oh, well, that sounds pretty heavy. Jeez. Well, uh, I mean, the good news is you're very close, only a month away after 20 long, hard years of speaking only in haiku. Um, yeah, that's really something to celebrate. Oh, here's Benji now. He's got, uh, he's got your drinks. Oh, oh, <laughs> uh, ben Benji, um, uh, I think the tray's a bit full, don't you think? There's, a, there's beers and, oh, goodness. Benji, are, are you sure you can handle that with one hand even? Benji, ben Benji, watch out. Ben, ben, Benji, Benji, no! Ah, oh, fuck, my shirt! Uh, uh, was that a haiku? Um, hello, this is the Guinness World Record judge speaking. I, I have to butt in here for a second. I've been accompanying Mr. Haiku for the last 20 years, and I regret to inform the True Philosophy audience that Mr. Haiku's record attempt is now finished. I will be moving on with my life as of now. Thank you. Ah, oh, geez. Well, that's not good. 
I'm so sorry, Mr. Haiku. I'm so, so sorry. Well, what can you do? It had to happen sometime. Don't worry, everyone. I, I'm not going to freak out. I really liked that shirt. God damn it! That was my favorite fucking shirt! I feel fine. At least I'll be second place in the record book. Actually, your record comes in at a fourth place. There were a couple of other near misses that came just a little closer. Actually, the third place record was just 25 seconds away, Mr. Haiku. Ah. Uh, well, I, uh, I heard the record for speaking in limericks is only six years. I guess I'll get started on that one now. Yeah. There was a young man named Haiku, whose attempts at his namesake were through. Although suicidal, he wouldn't stay idle. With limericks, he'd try something new. Wow, that's... That's really brave of you. I really appreciate that. I hate, I hate to feel as though we've spoiled something, but I'm very, very glad to hear that you're, you're on a new pathway and uh, pursuing a new record. That's, that's really tremendous of you. Thank you very much, and uh, I'm so sorry for everything that's happened here today. Oh, I suppose the, the record attempt will begin not, uh, not just now, but when you leave, or perhaps... Ah, oh, fuck! Perhaps tomorrow. That's fine. No, no, don't worry. Um, yeah, well, we've got a song, actually. Uh, I've uh, queued up a song just uh, just for that occasion, so here we go. It's a song about limericks, wouldn't you know? <laughs> 